All right. Okay, this is part two of my 19-week um, update video. And what I want to talk about in this was the supplements I'm taking. Um, and most importantly was the supplement that I've most recently added, which is a probiotic. Um, I can't remember the brand that it is. I really should have brought them down here. But probiotics, for those of you who don't know, are the healthy bacteria, the cultures, like in yogurt, um, that you would get through it's to help your digestive system and there was a study done recently about it um, and it basically said they, they followed people who'd had weight loss surgery or gastric bypass gastric bypass specifically I think it was and those that took probiotics regularly on a regular basis lost um, I think it was like 10% more weight like it was a, a big percentage of weight um, 10% more weight than those who didn't take probiotics. So that was enough for me. Um, I went out and bought me a couple bottles of them, and I have been taking them. I just started taking them probably just a couple days ago, and I didn't take them while I was gone because I forgot to bring them with me. Um, so we'll see if you know my weight loss happens to you know go back up after I've added those in. Also, the other main benefit, health benefit for taking the probiotics, is that it also helps you absorb your calcium. It has something to do with calcium absorption or those that had, in the study, who had taken probiotics um, over a long period of time didn't have the bone loss or the problems with um, absorbing calcium like the other people did. So, anyway, it's a small thing to add in to your daily routine. Mine are just like a little gel capsule. They're really small and I just take one a day. So we'll see how it goes. Um, Okay, and then the other question, the last question I'm going to answer um, today is that someone had emailed and asked what kind of pre-op tests did I have in Mexico before my surgery? And um, the answer to that, well, first of all, um, a lot of people go through psychological evaluations um, with their surgeons or um, uh, I don't know who else would administer those, but most people take those before they go to have surgery because my surgery was in Mexico um, what they had me do was to fill out it was a very I mean a quite extensive questionnaire um, for my psychological evaluation I would say it was probably about eight pages I mean at least eight pages long and it was just I mean all kinds of questions like you can't even imagine some of them aren't even related to weight loss just to kind of get an idea of where your head is um, to make sure that you're all there, I guess, and that you kind of know what's going on and that you're not expecting, un you don't have unreasonable expectations, you know, for having the surgery, that you're doing it for the right reasons, that kind of thing. Um, so I know that someone was concerned that that um, because I had surgery in a different country, that maybe they didn't screen their applicants very well or that anybody could just go and get the surgery because they didn't have to go through all the, jump through all the hoops that you have to do in the United States. And it's really not true because I did just about everything that anybody here would have had to do. Um, I sent in that, that uh, questionnaire to Dr. Hoya um, a couple weeks before I actually had my surgery, so he had plenty of time to go over it make sure that everything was A-OK, -okay, that I was mentally stable, that I, you know, had the right expectations and I was doing it for the right reasons. So that was the first thing I did was the psychological evaluation via email. Um, then when I got in Mexico, of course, they do the typical, like, you weigh in. Um, Natalie takes, like, the before picture, the front picture, and the side view. They take all the measurements. Um, once you're in the operating, well not in the operating room, but in your hospital room and your gown, then the nurses will come in, um, they take a bunch of blood because they do run all the blood work, they do a full panel of blood work on you, and I had just had one done at home with my doctor here, and she had already emailed the results of her blood work to Dr. Hoya, but they're very thorough there and he wanted to do his own panel anyway. So I mean they're very careful about making sure they have everything, like all their bases covered. So I had full blood work done. Um, they did an EKG on me also as I was waiting for the results from the blood work to come back. Um, what else? I think that's it for pre-op. And then post-op, they of course, they test you twice to make sure there's no leaks. One, right after surgery, before you even wake up, they test for leaks um, with some type of dye they put through. 
And then again, a couple days after surgery, it's almost starting to get fuzzy now. It's been like 19 weeks since I had this done, but I think it was three or four days afterwards, right as I was getting ready to be released from the hospital, um, you have another blue, a dye swallow, where you just take a little cup of blue dye. It's just a little bit. It's, it is the nastiest stuff that you'll ever put in your mouth. I promise you that, but it's only one swallow, thank God. So um, you swallow the stuff down, and then it's really trippy because you get to look and watch as it like traces down through your new little digestive system and fills up your little pouch and you can see it and then they're watching to make sure there's no leaks and of course there were no leaks and so then you're done and then you get your ice chips and then you get to go um, check out and go to the hotel so that's about it for testing um, they don't really test anything else they do send a doctor to the uh, to the hotel to check on you every day. My doctor only checked on me a couple days and I said, you know what, forget about it because I'm totally fine, I'm feeling great. If I have any problems, I'll give you a call. Um, so, yeah, so that was that. And I think that was it. I think that's all the questions I had to write down for this week. And sorry, my update was so late. Um, I just have been super busy and didn't have time to make a video. And when I did have time, I was like, you know, just got back from swimming or whatever. I've been swimming a lot, which is good. Um, adding an exercise I'm hoping is going to make a difference and bump my weight loss back up because I feel like it's slowing down and I don't want it to slow down yet. I'm not ready yet. Um, I have a lot more weight to lose. So, um, oh, I did want to mention that for those of you who haven't checked out my website, um, www.skinnyswap.yolasite.com. Um, it's awesome. Like I have been getting a lot of good feedback. I know a lot of you are already using it. There's quite a few ads posted in the Skinny Swap ads page on the website. So if you guys need some clothes, go check those out because there's lots of stuff listed and it's all free. Um, every bit of it. No one's charging for it. If anything, if you don't live locally to these folks, then you will pay some shipping, but that's about it. Um, and it's good stuff. I just swapped a whole bunch of my clothes with a lady um, that I got in contact with through there. And, like, good stuff, you guys. I got some Calvin Klein, some Tommy Hilfiger, some Liz Claiborne, like, brand name stuff. And it's all, like, brand new. I mean, all of us have several sizes in our closets, right? And only probably a third of it we wear. So why not trade with somebody else who can wear the sizes that are either too tight or too loose? For those of us weight loss surgery folks, they're always too loose, so we need to go ahead and trade down. But, you know, for the not as lucky folks, they have the smaller sizes in there that they're hoping to squeeze into, but it's kind of depressing, you know. I've been on that side of the, uh, um, the road, too, where you're, like, looking at those clothes hoping that you could fit into them someday, but... I think in reality, it's best to just get rid of it and get something that you can wear now that's going to make you feel better about yourself and get the scale moving in the right direction. So that's kind of the premise about the whole website is that, you know, all of us have been there. We're either on the gaining side or the losing side, but we all have clothes that don't fit us, so why not swap them? All right, guys, I'll get off my soapbox, but go check it out, um, skinnyswap.yolasite, Y-O-L-A site.com. Okay, guys, good talking to you, and I will promise I will be on time next week with my update. Hopefully have a better, better number to share. Okay, uh, have a great evening. Bye.